Hey everybody, Wafchis here. Welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series, The Caliphate Strikes Back, where I'm attempting to become an Emperor, starting as the Abbasid Caliph in 1066. Making good progress, I'm now the Sultan of the uh, the Sunni Caliphate, which is... I've been like that for a couple of episodes now. Had a bit of an issue with uh, corrupted saves, but I've, I've got past that now. I'm in a pretty good position, a better position than I was before. Now, last episode, I completed a holy war down here for this land. I also conquested... conquered correct term uh, this guy up here because he was on his own and it's like why not so now I control this land there's been a crusade called a crusade for Jerusalem which is not held by me so I'm quite happy with it it's held by my rival the Shia Caliph of Egypt now what this gives me is a brilliant opportunity because I have enough piety for an invasion and I can't actually see exactly what I need because I've got Levy's race, so I'm going to move these guys out. But I am very, very, very tempted to go for an invasion because he is weakened by the crusade, which is to my benefit. Uh, and also, I have allies. He does not. I had a quick look before I started recording. He only has, in terms of allies, his own vassals. See, they're all, uh, all his vassals. So, there's no help coming from outside his borders. Um, I'm, what are these guys? Are they Shia? No, they are Sunni. If I just have a quick look at the religion map. He is the only Shia power in the game that I can see, judging from that. So, he has no help coming from outside, either religious or, or uh, dynastic. He has just as many men as I do, but I have... Oh no, he has slightly more men than I do at the moment. Uh, but I have a lot of money. And I have a lot of allies. And he does not have enough money. So let's just see. What is the thing? Invasion of Egypt. I would get all that land. Uh, I'd get... Uh, just have a quick read. I lose a thousand piety when I do it. Which is fair enough. If I win, I gain 200 prestige, and he loses 200 prestige, and I take or vassalize all titles in the Sultan of Egypt belonging to Caliph Abu II, Mansur al-Nazar. Long name. If it's a white piece, he gains prestige and a title, and I lose prestige. And if I lose, he gains prestige, I pay him loads of money, I gain decadence, he gains prestige, and a title. So, it's interesting. Uh, I can't actually call a jihad on him, can I? No. I can jihad... The infidels, but well, I can't. But I would, I, I can't. She had Shia. That's that's essentially it. And the difference is, um, okay, it doesn't tell me, but I know it's the same as a uh, crusade. The person with the highest, uh, like sort of commitment to it, they gain the titles. So I go for Jerusalem, which would be nice. But Egypt is a much, much better kingdom. I mean, look at all these holdings; they're amazing. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. I mean, I get... Takes the vassals. Yes. I'm not sure if I would have to then deal with lots of Shia vassals, but I can just then revoke their titles because they're Shia. So it's fine. So. Oh, and he suddenly lost... Oh, that's me. <laughs> I was going to say he lost a lot of men then suddenly. Uh, I'm actually going to be sensible and let my... Uh, vassal levies recharge. Just for a, just for a little bit. Um, and then I'll be much better off. And I'm actually going to increase the crown authority. Because I want that ready for when I have to deal with lots of pot potentially Shia vassals. Speaking of, I'm sure there are a couple of Shia vassals around here. So I'll just, let, I'll just have a quick skeet while I'm letting everyone recover. I think I might have dealt with them. They might have converted as well. It's always possible. Yeah, it's looking like it. Um, yeah, so that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm looking. Okay, gone up pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, try and switch if you would. That'd be nice. I'm also going to recruit some more retinue. And I'm going to send them down here. These guys can go up here. I'm actually going to... Where's Which is the best one to gather in? 18,000 18, supply. That bit of land. I'm going to have them gather there. Actually, no. That's... 
I'm going to have them gather there, actually, because it's a fair way from the borders. They won't be able to see me muster there. But it's close enough that I can just march in as quick as I would like. Now, Egypt includes Sinai, which is this, I believe. Yep, Sinai. I knew it was Sinai, but I didn't know if it was actually a, a duchy. Um, it's also du jour drifting that, but I'm not going to wait 72 years for that. Um, or 82 years, rather. Uh, so I get all this land and that. So it's actually, it, it, would be, it would be very beneficial for me to win this invasion. So that's what I'm going to try and do, surprisingly enough. So, obviously, it's going to be a huge war, I expect. So, who can I deal with this? Can I ba I can banish that guy for some reason? I will do so. Uh, can I banish this? Who are you? Oh, my wife. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the money. But she's still married to me. Arranged divorce. I could pay 200 gold to divorce her. I'm not going to do that because that's not going to happen. I'm not spending the money. It's not worth it. Um, oh, dangerous heresy. What have you? You can get. Get out! You are not being my court chaplain as a Shia when. Okay, yeah, you're back to Sonny. That's good. You were about to lose your land. That's what was going to happen to you. Now, speaking of, how am I doing with my allies? This guy loves me. Uh. Because of many, many, many reasons. Piety plus 20. That will go down, obviously, when I uh, invade. But overall, looking pretty good. Uh, that's almost full. I'll give it a couple more months. How's this crusade going? 5% in favour of the Caliph now. So he's actually fought back. Uh, where is he? He's probably leading troops. He's leading troops in Senar. Senar is... Where is Sana? Is he still at war with down with uh, down here? I think he might be. Yeah, he is. He's down there. So I imagine that's where most of his army is, which is pretty good for me at least. Group now, speed this up. I'd like to start the invasion this episode, but it would probably be wiser to wait an episode, whether I will or not. Because I've shown myself multiple times not to be very wise when it comes to this game. So, who knows? We'll see. Uh, if I group these guys, what will that come to? A thousand men. I must have lost a uh, a unit of retinue at some point. Okay, so my vassal rev re uh, levies are basically full. Mine are a thousand off. I'm actually going to wait a little bit longer just for the thousand men. But he's still being useless over there. There's no need for that. <clears throat> Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Seljuk land is sort of imploding. Allow the duel, why not? Yeah. Seljuk Persia doesn't really control much of Persia. And Seljuk Mesopotamia still doesn't control much of Mesopotamia. And there's still a fake Abbasid over here. He's on my shit list. Not going to have that. I might subjugate him at some point. Or just wipe him out. How many men are in this thing? 15 people. If this guy gets quite old, I might just go on a genocidal spree and kill all the rival Abbasids. Might be worth doing. This guy's become decadent. Uh, but I can't stop him. Oh. Brilliant. Never given to fear. I'm no longer as decadent. So we are gaining decadence, I think, from this guy who's no longer decadent. He's, that was weird. Uh, this guy become my chief caddy. Why not? I don't... I really don't care. He's gaining an income from it, I think. Uh, oh, and there's been a new election down here. This guy is now the... It is the slow Wali Amir. And I'm going to educate my son. I mean, what what am I, actually? I'm, a, I'm actually a really good character. So, yeah, I will educate my own son. Oh... Oh no, the, the Fatimid Caliph doesn't like me. Maybe he knows what I'm planning to do. He's suddenly gained 670,000 fucking men. Where's that come from? 10,000 tired. Um, okay, well. Let's see what happens. Because I still don't have a, a holy order. It is very frustrating. 
Um, he's losing men slowly. He's gaining them back though. That's annoying. But he's losing so much money. He's gonna he's gonna run out of money soon. He won't be able to pay his troops. No, nope, he's oh he's on he's gone under. He's struggling to stay out of the red. I'm waiting for his troop numbers to drop. Because if he's hired a load of mercs, which is very possible, he will have to uh, disband them, or they will go. They will fight him, which would be also beneficial for me. He can be educated by some guy. My grand vizier will be him. He shall be my marshal. You can improve diplomatic relations with. You know what, the Byzantines, because for now, I mean, I don't have a, I don't have a border with them, so they're not going to invade me. But I don't want them to even try. Yeah, you can, you can duel someone fine, whatever. Uh, he wants educating as well. See my son as well. He is. I will, I'll educate this one myself as well. Okay, this is cool. This is going well. Um. I haven't done anything yet, to be honest, but it is going well. 15 piety, they have converted. Wonderful. Uh huh. Hurrah can be can be uh, converted next, I think. Or wherever that was called. Yeah, so. Uh, how's this going? 39%. So they're winning the war now, which is unfortunate. I might go for it now. 18,000 men. I have. 13,000 men. I can hire enough guys. I mean, it's 52,000 a, a, a month, which is 52,000, 52 a month. So I'd hire them and I'd have in a year, I'd spend 500 gold. I would need to crush them very quickly before I ran out of money. Hmm. Debate now, I should have struck earlier. He's in the black so far, but is that must mean his morale must be really low. Title loss and succession. Why do I have this land? Okay, give it away. Right. Um. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do it. Invasion of Egypt. Let's go. Pick an ambition. Become paragon of virtue. And help me invade Egypt, please. With your 3,000 men. I'll group everyone. The issue is, his guys are all ready to go. I'm going to send them the long around because I don't want these 100 men to just be wiped out. And he's not going to join in, which sucks, but he wouldn't really commit much to the fight anyway. What's happening down here? Oh, these guys are on the way. Right, so yes, I'm going to group everyone. He's just taking lots of attrition because the desert. Wait, I'll, I'll... Where are you going? I'll... Oh, he's heading there. Okay. Yep, fine. Um, I'm still gaining money, which is fantastic news. Now, where is the Caliph? He is leading troops in Al Dwarf. What? That's me. Of course, of course it's me. Why am I leading troops? Let's let's cut this shit out right now. Resign. There we go. So now I'm no longer leading troops, which would be bad. Uh, he's leading troops in Jerusalem. Where is Jerusalem? There's Jerusalem. So he's over there. Interesting. Um. They're still going to Al Aqaba. They're going to Iliad now, which is all the way over there. So there, they're backing away, which is good. So I'm going to hire the no, the Turkmen are really expensive, but they're really good. Lots of light cavalry and lots of horse archers. So I'm going to go for them and have them group here as well. So I'm going to be losing money now. That's just the way of it. My uncle has now become Midas. Oh my God, he's great. He hates me. Attempted murder of parent. Yeah, because she. Oh, he's my rival, is he? Well, no. I could banish him, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep him in there. There's no need to take any more 
uh, thingy hits. Oh, wow. Wants the Shikedom of Al Jawaf, Hijaz, and Mecca. Uh, I might give him that, just because it would then keep him happy. Because I don't want a rebellion in the middle of this. You can have Mecca. You can have. How does he feel about me now? Oh, that's good. Hijaz. And Al Jawaf. How are we looking now? You like me now, that's good. Uh, in terms of rank, who do I have? He doesn't like me because he wants the Shaktum of Karth Theory. You can have it. This is why you don't give everyone their du jour borders straight away. Because then you have something to give them. Because yes, they don't like you for holding it, but once you give it back, you get rid of that net penalty and you also gain the benefit of having given them land in the first place. Which they like. And I can imprison this guy for a reason. You're trying to kill someone. Why not? What if I banish you? I'll get 2.5, 2.6 gold. That was so worth it. And then once this uh, Merc company has arrived, which it will do in a week, there we go, I will march in. Right, so, Operation Let's Capture the Caliph. He is in Aswan, which is... The Aswan Dam, which is... Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's make our way there slowly. Because I could just go straight for the capital. But I'll probably take lots of uh, attrition penalty damage because of the lack of supply route. So I'm going to hope that I don't. Oh. He can now join me, maybe? Yes, he will. Wonderful. That's going to make this a lot easier. Hopefully, if they turn up. And this guy is losing troops. I'm actually going to do the old trick of getting rid of everyone. It will take half an hour to do this, though. This is the exciting game of Crusader Kings 2. Where you click and click and click. And what if I put it there? Nope. Okay. I was hoping it might be slightly quicker. All these guys are crap anyway. I'm not sure what effect they have on the actual battle with like loads of sub-commanders. It might be better, it might be worse. But, uh... These guys are terrible guys anyway, so... And like that, I no longer have any commanders, which is good, because that means I won't take any casualties from the thing. Where are you going? Let's just group here. Let's just have a good time here. And I've stolen some money from uh, Constantinople. Uh... Outlaw the guilds to support the carpenters. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. And again, to Stucha. And Baghdad is liking me less now. So you can suppress revolts, because I do not, again, I don't want any issue with the home front. And he becomes temperate, which is great. I'm losing piety somehow. Maybe because I imprisoned someone, I lost piety for that. Not sure. He's getting lots of money. I'm interested to know where from. Uh, he can become honest. Yes, he can. Wonderful. He's becoming... He's turning out really good. Oh, that's a large army. Petra. Heading to Petra. If I went to meet them, I'd get them there the day before. They won't... They don't want that. What if I go to Iliat? Very much, they'll get away. They're going to end the gov. I'm going to chase them. And to chase them, I'm going to put the actual decent guys in charge. Because I don't want to actually fight with no one in charge. And I'm stressed. I don't want to die. Please don't let me die. I will get there the same day they get away. And I'm taking casualties. I'll get to them before they get away again. I'll slow this right down. This is the first major battle of the sunny invasion of Egypt. And I have... Oh, okay, that guy's been... I didn't even realise I was in that war. Oh, and suddenly the tide turns against me because allies turned up. Or not, maybe. 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 I'm retreating. 
Yeah, I've... Damn it. Okay, well, this is... Uh, that battle's not gone to my favour, really. Minus 60% war score from that. Oh, that's a lot. That's so annoying. Oh, well. Well, I will end this episode here because I'm going to have to do a lot of thinking now to work out what exactly to do. Probably going to have to disband these mercs. And... I won't be able to wipe peace out. I'm not going to wipe peace out. I'm going to do this at the end. Um, and hopefully, my ally, such as he is, will turn off. He's currently in his own many rebellions, so I doubt that. But I might be able to recover long enough to smash back. Anyway, yes, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.